What up, guys? This is Kibo Guys. Back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on Brotherhood United. This game was published by East Asia Soft, and it is developed by Mayu Bao. I think that's how you say it. My bad to the developer if I butchered your name. This game released on October 14th, 2020, and it's an easy 30-minute completion or platinum trophy. Now this game is a 2D side-scrolling run and gun game. It gives me Simpsons arcade vibes, I'm not too sure why, maybe just because of the style of the game. Anyhow, you can get that full completion as quick as about 15 minutes, however I think the average player is going to take about 30 to 45 minutes realistically. Personally, I found that it took me about 30 minutes to get the full 1000 gamer score. So first things first, it's going to put you into the tutorial level and it's going to teach you how to play the game. We're going to unlock our first achievement or trophy after completing the tutorial. You can aim diagonally by pressing either RB or LB or on PlayStation that would be L1 or R1. However, you can just use the left thumbstick to aim up or down. I found that that was way easier. Um, because it's basically twin stick controls. Um, you move around with one thumbstick and then you aim around your gun with the other thumbstick. Now if you've played previous East Asia Soft titles, you would know that their achievements are usually accumulative, meaning that they add up over time. For example, one of the last achievements you're going to get in this game is for saving 35 bros. You're going to find that you're going to see some of your uh, homies or dudes uh, that are wrapped up in a rope. You can hit them um, either by um, walking up to them and pressing attack to knife the rope or you can shoot them and it will break the rope. No need to worry about any friendly fire, it is impossible to kill any of the bros. Now back to what I was saying, these are cumulative, meaning that you can collect the first 5 bros in the first level over and over again until you get 35. You don't necessarily need to get far enough into the game where you save your 35th bro. You can just keep rinse and repeating the first level until you collect 35. Now this works with most of the achievements. For example, we have achievements for setting off mines without getting hurt. All you have to do is walk close enough to the mine to activate it and then walk away. It will explode, it won't hurt you, and that will count towards your achievement. Ultimately, there is a few achievements related to mines and not getting hurt by them. I think we need to get up to 12 total. You get an achievement for dodging your first one. As you can see up here, um, there's a bro, I just saved him, and you do get achievements or trophies related to throwing grenades as well. I think you need to throw a total of like 32 or 35 grenades, so just make sure that you continue throwing grenades as you play. However, I do want to point out that there is one achievement or trophy related to completing a level without throwing any grenades. You can choose to do this on your first run through the level. However, I recommend just playing through it so you know how the first level works. Um, ultimately, you're going to play through the first level a few times. That is, unless you decide to just continue playing the game and get all of the achievements along the way. But if you're not into um, you know, progressing into the game, you can just keep playing the first level over and over again. Now we have two achievements tied to the first level, or at least that are easier on the first level. Uh, the first one being the one I just mentioned for not using any grenades in the level. You can easily do this on the first level. And then the second achievement that you're going to want to get on the first level is for three starring any level. To three star a level, you gain one star by not dying in a level, you gain another star by saving all of the bros, and you get another star by defeating all of the foes. So again, a quick summary. In the first level, you want to make sure that you save all of the bros. There's five bros per level. After you save all five, you just want to make sure that you clear out all of the enemies and that you make sure that you do not die. There's a health pack located in the middle of the level. Just make sure that you pick it up if you happen to be running low on life mid-level. Now personally I found that I was having issues with the achievements related to saving bros. I had definitely saved more than 35 and my achievement had it pop and I ended up realizing that this is because you need to wait till they give you an item and walk away. Otherwise I don't think the uh, achievement or trophy registers. So when you save a bro, they typically give you an item and then they walk away off of the screen. Um, I found that if you didn't let them walk away off of the screen, it didn't register that you saved them, at least for the achievement. 
uh, just because uh, for example I think on the second level there's a bro right when you start up the level and I tried saving him restarting the level saving him I rinsed and repeated that 35 times and I never got the achievement so um, I think it's because I didn't let them uh, escape and walk off of the screen so just make sure that after you save the bro they don't just stand there um, you have to collect the item so that they can run off of the screen but yeah guys other than that just make sure that you keep an eye out for those mines you want to dodge them or activate them and dodge them sorry and then other than that you want to make sure that you throw enough grenades to get all of your achievements related to throwing grenades just make sure that you save um, one run uh, for the first level where you do not throw any grenades so you can get that achievement so let's see i just checked and we have an achievement related to detonating one mine without taking damage and then six mines without taking damage and then the last one is 12 mines without taking damage so you just have to make sure to dodge at least 12 mines total you should get this naturally um, again the last one you're probably going to get is for saving 35 bros and as you can see i just unlocked the hard way achievement worth 80 gamer score for passing a mission without using any grenades in terms of the achievements for bros you get your first one after saving five bros and then 15 bros and then the third one is for saving 35 bros those are the freedom act one two and three achievements next i want to point out the raging mode one two and three achievements the first one is for killing 10 enemies and then you get one for killing 100 enemies and then finally 350 enemies more than likely the 350 enemies is probably going to be one of the last achievements or trophies you get next i want to talk about the blaze fingers achievement for rapid firing your good old gun this is actually an achievement that you can get at the very beginning of the game however i didn't end up getting it towards the end of the game and this is basically for button mashing really really fast on your pistol um, so fast that you're rapid firing your pistol this will unlock the blaze fingers achievement worth 80 gamer score and other than that again we have three achievements related to saving bros um, just make sure that you let them walk away after you save them I don't think that they walk away until you collect whatever gift that they give you for saving them other than that guys I'm going to go ahead and end this video by three starring the first level if you guys need any help with your three star on level one feel free to follow the end of this video it shows you where all five uh, bros are at because again you need to save all five bros to get a star um, also you need to make sure that you do not die during this first level to get the second star and then the third star is for killing all of the foes so just make sure that you clear out all of the enemies and again if you're missing any of the five bros just make sure that you follow along with this clip here at the end of this video guide to make sure that you do not miss any of them once we go to the second area, you should end up finding a health pack shortly. Just in case you happen to be running low on health, there is a health pack about halfway. Now, once you find this mine on this window seal right here, you want to jump to the top of this building and you want to jump to the next one. Now, we're going to roof hop a couple buildings until we see our next bro. Um, if you don't happen to make these few jumps and you're down on the floor, you can always shoot up to release him. So if you happen to be... Um, not on top of this building maybe you missed the jump just shoot up and you can go ahead and free him by shooting him um, other than that go back over here make sure that you clear out the beetles because once again we need uh, to clear out all of the enemies to get that third star so I'm just going to head over to the right and if you haven't already make sure that you button mash the shoot button to rapid fire your good old gun and get that blaze fingers achievement worth 80 gamer score but yeah, besides that, guys, there's really two ways that you can go about completing this game. You can either, you know, continue to play the levels until you unlock all of these achievements naturally, or you can choose to just play the first level over and over again because we do, in fact, have a scene select or mission select feature at the main menu where you can select any mission that you want. And also, if you haven't purchased it yet and you're interested in doing so after watching this video guide, I will have a link in the description below as always. Anyway guys, I think we have one more bro left. You just have to uh, pass this building that says pay to spray. And he's going to be on one of these window seals. You just have to climb up a bit to see him. I'm going to jump up and he is right here. He looks like Thor. Chubby Thor. Not epic Thor. Anyway, go back down. Make sure that you shoot all of your enemies before you move forward. 
because the last thing you want to do is miss an enemy and have to redo this whole level. And there we go, all foes killed, saved all bros, and didn't die. That's going to unlock the first three stars achievement worth 80 gamer score. As usual, I want to give a shout out to my Patreon subscribers. We just reached 10 patrons. I want to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club, which is Tim G84, AOJ, The Gasbliss, and Purple Rain 6. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe.